Honda is recalling over 2 million vehicles in the U.S. over a fuel pump defect. Now, the recall impacts various 2017 to 2020 models. Several vehicles from Honda's luxury brand Acura have also been affected. So far, no injuries have been reported, though. But this comes as multiple automakers have had to recall vehicles in the U.S. this week over safety concerns, including Toyota and Tesla. So for more on this, let's bring in David Welch. He's the Detroit Bureau Chief for uh, Bloomberg News. And let's get right into it. More, what more can you tell us about this latest recall from Honda? It's a really big one. And it's kind of curious, honestly, because of a lot of the recalls that we've seen uh, this year, particularly with the large Tesla recall, they're related to really new technologies that companies haven't been using very long, and they've got software issues or uh, you know, battery issues, things that companies are, are still really getting grips with how to, how to work with. The Honda one, this is a fuel pump, uh, one of the most basic things in a vehicle. Hmm. And the reason it's so big is companies tend to share these parts over numerous models. And so if it goes bad in one, it goes bad in all of them. And now we've got two and a half million vehicles out on the road that could stall out if they don't get their, their fuel pump replaced. Um, and so I presume that this works just like a regular recall. If you're on the list, bring your vehicle in and they'll replace it. That's right. And, and that's it's really important that people do that. One of the problems car companies have is only about half of the people who get these recall notices go to the dealership to mm -hmm. get their recall done. So with this one, the car can stall out. So yeah, if you got a notice, go get your car fixed. So you brought up another recall uh, that I always have a little bit of a pet peeve with, which is the Tesla's recall. I only have a pet peeve with it because it's a recall, yes, because that's the word that we use, but it's kind of like an over the air update. But I thought it was really, it's really interesting. So can we talk a little bit about Tesla's recall? What's at issue there when you mentioned the new technology? Yeah, so th this is not only a new technology, but this is a, a fight that goes back a, a, almost a couple of years between Tesla and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. This is about autopilot, which is a hands-free driving system. It's not a fully self-driving, fully autonomous vehicle, sort of like GM's Super Cruise and Ford's Blue Cruise. You can go hands-free at, at certain times when you're driving. And what happened here is... Uh, some people used it as if it was a fully self-driving feature, partly because it's called autopilot and, and gave some drivers maybe a, a sense of false security that the car could drive itself. And uh, related to this, 16 or 17, I think 17 is the latest count of people who have died using this. So after a long fight, Tesla finally decided a quote-unquote recall. And what it does is it, it just gives people more warnings that they should get their hands on the wheel and, and eyes on the road yeah. while they're using this feature. They shouldn't rely on this for too long. And to your point, it's not a recall in the sense that you take your car to a dealership. Tesla doesn't have dealerships. Uh, it's a software update, and it happens over the air, just like it would with a cell phone or anything uh, anything else like uh, you know that, that happens over the air. And uh, and you don't need to go in and sit drink the dealership's coffee while you're waiting for it to be fixed. It just right. happens to be a software. Right. I think in this case, you know, it's a reminder, everyone, it's called self-driving, but it's not. You have to also be in control right. of the vehicle. And I feel like we could do a whole segment talking about uh, that, David. Also recalls uh, from Toyota as well that we can't even touch on, but encourage people to do their research, find out if their car is uh, one of the cars that needs an upgrade. Uh, David Welch, thank you very much. Thank you.